I lost my virginity when a female used a candle on me in school. Like, girl to girl, these are teenagers in the school bathroom, not even a boarding school, in a day school. That a female used a candle on her in school. That's how this one lost it. The other one said, my neighbor runs a shift with us fulfilled. God, this is pathetic. She Like this one... I, I met this lady when we went for evangelism in church, and she said uh, a mother and father were no more. There is this young guy that is like a neighbor of the next building, runs shift. Today, today she will be the one, the next day, the sister, today she will be the one, the next, like he sleeps with them at shift for food. That's how she lost her virginity. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, June. So, I made like a little Q and a, a a question, a questionnaire, a questionnaire. I'm asked my my circle how they lost their virginity, and it's so pathetic. It's so pathetic. Ah, oh, so let's just go through it. The first one, the first one said, okay, I talk about the first and the second one. Like the second one said, the neighbor run shift on them for food, the hardship, poverty, no money. They don't know they don't even know what to do they don't have any other option so the neighbor which is like a young guy today sister a tomorrow sister b that's how this guy runs shift on them for food thank god the church went for evangelism and the church did what they could do so the next one we have here my teenage boyfriend wants me to prove my love yeah this one just like teenage exorbitant and so teenage fragile she said she had a boyfriend when she was young as a teenager and the teenage boyfriend said show me you love me i don't believe you love me my stomach hurts me and these those lies of fallacy it's just hormonal pressure just the blood disturbing them their, their hormones disturbing them and 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 i know that even that teenager after then don't even know what it was in because both of them were teenager never can tell so my really sharp girls but this one she was naive she said the teenager a boyfriend told her to show love. So I was raped as a teenager. God, like this one said, the thing banks in her brain. She, she, that she cannot forget it. That she was raped as a teenager. That was how she lost her virginity. Then the other one said, I grew up to see my cousin doing. The, ah, ah, ah. This one is. This one is very close to me. I don't, I'm not going to talk about her background. Like she said, I grew up. I grew up to see my cousin doing business with me. What it means is that when she became 19, she finds out that like it has been going on, but she, she became conscious, like she became mature. She started knowing herself when she was like 19. She finds out that this uh, this uh, a cousin has friends that are male. They will come to the give the cousin like 10 naira, 20 naira, 15 naira, because it's like some way 10 years back. Every night, sometimes they will come three or four, they will give the cousin money, then you have her. And then I ask her again, How, huh, where was your uncle, your auntie? She was like, It was at night, it is dark, it's just like the way children play around, they don't know that other things are going on. Sometimes she said they will tell her to kneel down and through the back, like they will give your cousin 15 naira. So, like, sometimes the people will even run shift like one, two, three, then they will do one, two, three again. Like you would just be there, like, like, like that was how she lost her virginity. That was how she grew up to see what was happening to her. So I said, why didn't you speak up? She was like, if she, if she should tell the uncle, this uh, accord, which is like older, is older than her, is going to look for flimsy excuses to beat her. So she's living with that family. If she should refuse, she tries to refuse. The next day, the boy flogged her so much. He can just say that you sneeze or you spoil your bag or I sent you on an errand, you refuse. And he's going to beat her mercilessly. That was how she found that. God saved her when she was like 14. When she had to go visit her mom and she said, no way, she's not going back. Like for five years, these people have been running business. I was not thinking about our walls, our health-wise, everything. This God, it is only God. It's so pathetic. It is really, really pathetic. Like this particular one. The other one, this one said, my mom, younger brother, always do this to me when she's out. <sighs> That's our mom's younger brother living with them. You as a younger brother, I don't even understand. You are living with your mom, with your sister. You are defiling your sister's daughter. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? This was, this was how she lost her virginity. That the man, the this guy always does it to her. But this one she spoke of, she said she didn't even tell her mom that there was a day the mom left. <coughs> Excuse me. And this guy was about to do it. Then she carried 
and she carries something, maybe a stick or something, and threatening him, and that was how it stopped. Thank God for that one. This one is also pathetic. He said, I was raped and I had a baby. God. Like this one, I know her. She was like, I was raped and I had a baby from that incident. <sighs> I don't want to talk much about it because I know about the good news I'm about to say is that this one, God has given her somebody that accepted her. This person knew about it before he asked her out, accepted her and accepted the baby. Okay, that is the good news for this one. It's so pathetic. It's so pathetic. See, my friends told me, the next one said, my friends told me, my friends told me to reduce is to reduce the pain before marriage. So I had to beg a boy to do it. Oh, this was my boss. This one is my boss. She said she was a teenager. No, when she got into a uh, university uh, first year, like Fresham, her friends told her that if she don't do it, if she doesn't start now, it should be difficult for her. But when she started, she saw things and she ran. That she had to beg a boy. Like the friends have to arrange a boy for her to help. What? That's just peer pressure. And I think another thing is that um, maybe something like a jealousy. It's, I think it's something jealous because those girls have lost it before they came to school because you, you were like, you're like, so you are still like this. Uh -uh, you are not even wise. You are, so maybe they want you to even join them. That's why they are trying to discourage you or to do all sorts of things so she was actually naive she kept herself till she get to the higher institution but their peer, uh, peer pressure saying i was a virgin till i got to uni i had to do support say i was a virgin till i got to uni i had to do things to support my education like this one a, a three person sent a message like this so i just grouped it into one Okay, let me say this. Um, in 2014 or 15, my friend gained admission with me in the polytechnic. Like when she came for clearance, just clearance, her family was already calling her from home for assistance, like to send money home. She could not even go back. She could not even come back to school. Maybe she went back home. That was how she left the admission. Like the hardship. And if you could hear some of these things, sometimes it's peer pressure, some are naive. The situation, like the one that says the neighbor runs shift on them, it's just the poverty rates, like the economy. It is so pathetic. I don't even know. I'm feeling headache right now. I'm feeling cold. I'm just so tired. I don't even know how I'm feeling right now. Just to support her education. I also met another girl. She told me that she was not like that till she got married, till she got to the university. But when she got to the university, your school fees is looking at you. Your hostel fee is looking at you, your exam fee, everything is looking at you, and there is one man looking at you like, let's run this thing and you clear up. That was how she started, but I don't suppose so. It has happened, it has happened, and thank God she's not into that kind of lifestyle anymore. So that was how she lost it. This video is about how people feel ways, uh, like, they just explained how they lost their virginity. That's, this number eight is jealousy. Jealousy, what I'm saying is that, when she go, she's actually my boss. When she gained into the, when she uh, gained admission to the university, she was actually a virgin. They're like making her feel inferior. Yeah, something like that happened to me. There was a lady I worked for. Then I had um, I had Wicklow. I la I had Wicklow on this hand. I had Wicklow on this hand. Do you know what she told me? And I think that lady is even after my virginity. Not me. She may not, but she's just so jealous. Naive me. She, when she employed me. Like she asked me, Do you have a boyfriend? Have you done this? Have you done that? I was 18. Then I said, No, no, no. Like immediately she heard that this girl is a virgin. Any little thing. Look at you. You and you call your later, you call yourself a virgin. Even if there are neighbors there, customers there, children there, boys there, she just shouting. It's any little thing. You call yourself a virgin. Later she will say she is a virgin. That was how I had um weak low on this finger. If you if you if you Check this finger is not really straight because of the weekly. You know that weekly is like hand defection. I don't know the English name, and I'll write it. Then she told me to insert it in my V. Like, then she and her friend, I refused. Then she and her friend, they don't understand that kind of friend. I don't even know what they do together. Anytime that lady comes, they always lock themselves in the room. I don't even know. They started telling me that, um, that. Then that part of a woman is a sacred part that even men, when they have some kind of sickness, they tell them to just put their head there or put that part in that part of the woman that me, thank God that I'm a virgin, that I should just put that part, it's going to suck out. I would like, 
this hand that has infection to put it there what if i even go and introduce foreign bodies i don't even know it's the only god that stopped me from doing that thing she she was persistent she told me again 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 i reason is little 18 years old i just i don't feel that it is bad i should not put this you know what weak law is like and this the weak law i had took a long time because in fact i no money for for she did even, um she didn't even disburse money for me to get medication so the thing took a very long time and it was swollen you know how that thing used to bring up pulse the infection and or you asked me to do such i don't know sometimes sometimes the persons around you they are jealous of you they might encourage you to just do this thing do this thing you don't even know you don't even know the the reason behind your advice that's why when people give you advice filter it sometimes we humans i use that word we humans we give advice we cannot take you tell somebody to jump this fence is just small but you know you, you will not jump that fence if it is a child she will not do such this girl is just a teenager working for you having weak look you and your friend are both of you i don't know the what both of you do together they always lock down in their room advising me it's god that protected me the god that protects me will protect you however god will protect you and god can also restore your i mean i made a video when i said i had health issues a lot of things and on my wedding night i did not expect it i was like no, because of the health issues I have, I'm not going to see this thing. But it was a surprise. God used that thing to surprise me. God used that thing to tell me that I am still God. So whichever way, how you have lost it, God can still surprise you. God can still restore your health to you. If you are watching this, your children, see these people like this one that a girl to get can do. You don't know where your children are going to. It is only God that will protect them. The way God protected me. I made a video. I don't know if I'll post it. I'll post it now. Like, how God has protected me. There are so many ways of being raped. There are so many instances. Sometimes the door was even locked. And it is only God that would have turned their heart that opened that door and let this girl go. Is it going out at night when my boss will send me on an errand? Is it when I was working? I, I leave there at 5.30 a.m., 5 a.m. Coming back from church, I was robbed. God protected me. So however, these are where some, some persons lost their own. And if you're among those that anyhow someone molested you or anything, God will heal your heart. Because this lady told me that it is fresh in her mind. It's like more than, I think more than 10 or 20 years ago. She's an elderly woman. She told me it is fresh in her mind. God is going to God is going to renew your mind. God is going to heal you. God is going to restore your health. Whatever health challenge you are going to, related to this or it doesn't relate to this. And the, the main thing here is that God is going to protect you and protect your children from homogas. Homogas. God is going to protect you and protect your children for people that want to steal your destiny. And if there's any problem that is making you to do things you are not supposed to do, God is going to give you a solution. Thank you for watching this video. Bye. God will protect your children in Jesus' name. Amen.